Hi guys, welcome back again to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into something that I've been hyped to do for a while. Installing this uh, Honda Honda Flash Pro in my 2017 Honda Civic. Okay, it's super easy. I'll take you through the whole process so you can follow along and get your uh, Civic running better than ever. Just a short story. I bought this uh, Honda Data four years ago. It was May 2021. The only reason I did not install it back then because I'm afraid void the warranty. But other than that, that's the only reason that I did not install it back then. Anyway, okay. Before we jump into the install, let's uh, quickly go over to what you'll need. And you're going to need your, of course, this Honda Data Flash Pro unit, including the cable, which is uh, included in the box. And also a uh, laptop to install the necessary drivers and Honda Data software. Oh, before I forget, about your laptop, you should be running a Windows XP or newer. So if you have a Chrome or Mac operating system, then you're out of luck. As far as I know, it won't work. Okay, and finally, I'll walk you through how to load your first calibration and get the car running with a new tune. So the first thing that you need to do is to download first the Flash Pro Manager on the Honda Data site. Don't worry, it's free. Once we download it and run the app on the laptop, we will go ahead and proceed to the next step. We're on their page. Okay, of course, we're not a robot. Okay, now it's downloading. Almost there. Okay, what it says, Flash Pro Manager isn't keep. Let's keep it. Make sure you trust Flash Pro Manager Excel before you open it. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen would verify if this file is safe because it's commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust the file. Okay. Keep it. Okay, keep anyway. Okay, that's it. So now, okay, let's go to downloads. Click here. Flash Pro Manager. Okay, it says here, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Yes. Check version for new software. Yeah, why not? Okay, it's the the setup version is the most recent. Okay, type next. And then just set, agree. Next. Next. And next. Next. On data. Next. Create desktop shortcut next, then install. Okay, finish.
so what you need to do is you have to register in their site and then uh, you basically have to put your name last name your personal details okay continue so so after the installation of the, all the programs on on data on the website okay the second thing that we need to do is this one put the car in the accessory mode just by pressing it twice installed it here so I already connected the flash pro to the port of the OBD and now I can uh, connect the uh, USB port to the laptop okay okay you can see it's taken reading it's blinking okay and then we click on the so you want us to register first okay so then we go to flash pro okay your flash pro must be registered with on data before you can refresh your vehicle okay i'm just gonna do this on my own of course i can't show it to the internet okay so i already did all the info we just need to press next Okay, back to the installation then press this one do you want to lock the ECU yes I'm just covering the event so and I'll just for safety okay and then you just press ok yeah you just press put a check there check there and then press ok okay now it's locking then press ok So now you need to go to the calibration new calibration so uh okay model so just make sure your model is right so mine is 1.5 2016 to 2017 and then here vehicle 1.5 sport cvt no it's a uh, sport uh, touring let me check hmm, 2017 Hatch Sport Touring minus Hatch Sport Touring here. Hatch Sport Touring CVD. Okay, now it's correct. And then for the calibration, let's see here. So mine is uh, the intake is uh, Mishimoto. Okay. Okay, turbo stock, front pipe stock. Okay, flex fuel, no boost level intercooler uh, no exhaust is uh, Borla S type okay that's it you got I got it okay and then select calibration that's the calibration that this should be because I'm always using 91 uh, this one here okay it's a 2017 plus so I could actually go here but I don't usually uh, put high octane gas like 93 because it's quite expensive so 91 is my minimum so I think here is okay I don't want I can go at 6 psi high octane or uh, no it says here tuned so it's not yet tuned it's basically here there's a stock here five door hatch stock mm, but let's just go here high octane because I always <coughs> excuse me put uh, 91 okay high output 91 obtain minimum okay press ok okay now it's updating and then let's just do the basic for now okay so we could do a road test immediately so everything is okay let's see with the support touring and then you have to press this one upload okay it says there do not unplug as well as switch engine off I 
I don't know, it might take a while. Maybe three, five minutes, three to five minutes. Okay. It's making some uh, weird noise. Okay. So while well, it's updating, so I just want you to know this is what's going on. Okay. So I forgot to show you this. So while it is uh, updating, and it says it's on progress. See. Okay. Please switch the engine off. Okay. Okay, the upload is complete. Now it's ready to go. Okay, I did turn it off and then we can uh, remove the uh, hot data. Okay, installation is done. So let's see. I'm just going to start it first. Let's give it a try in the highway. Okay. It's actually a lot faster than it was like definitely so much faster hi guys I'm back it was a fun drive I can tell the difference since I installed the Honda Data Flash Pro it was fast before and it's so much faster now I've just noticed that uh, the gas pedal is kind of sensitive you don't have to put a lot of pressure when you step on it just a tap and hold it's steady you'll feel the increase in uh, speed and power and also I've noticed that my exhaust makes a weird sound but not in a bad way I actually liked it when the car decelerates when slowed down when it slows down the exhaust burbles you know that uh, making a popping sound it's not that loud but it's a mid tone maybe if your uh, car is stuck it won't make that sound but mine has an aftermarket uh, air intake it's a Mishimoto and also my exhaust is uh, Borla S type plus the Honda data maybe that combination I'm not sure but I like it nonetheless and my only regret is uh, buying this four years ago and not installing it right away I kind of miss the fun but it is what it is in my conclusion I think if you want to add an instant power to your Civic you should have installed this on data flash pro or you can install a k-tuner it doesn't matter what it's your uh, preference okay and that is all folks i hope you like this video and if you do please don't forget to comment like and subscribe your support goes a long way see you on the next video